what 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 hey scorpios welcome to another love reading um scorpio feminine you'll be first the masculine reading will uh start second um there will be a timestamp in the comments for the masculine reading if you want to book a personal reading or you want to watch your extended that uh, information will be in the description or at the top of the comments for Vimeo the extended link will be there and please like the reading subscribe to the channel if I resonate with you as a reader with that being said Scorpios let's go ahead and get into your reading so Scorpio feminine hmm okay all right so you all have Jay-Z as your romantic energy could be dealing with the sag and um i thought this was pretty dope because mrs carter here is a scorpio moon very intense very passionate energy and then you have that combined with the ace of pentacles so scorpio feminine um either either you know this masculine is the is the one like you you've made it up in your mind like no this person is the one it could be a libra um this is your masculine the four of swords you got there's a lot of quiet energy between you two i don't even know if you all are talking to one another this person could be at a distance because how you feel about it is the chariot but you're looking right at your masculine okay so i mean to me this is the person that i feel i, I feel you know but I don't feel like you're telling this person this. You're not telling them, okay? I also get the energy too that um, anyone that doesn't fit the bill, any masculine energy that comes towards you, you're leaving them in the dust. You're rolling over, okay? Chariot is, is removing all obstacles or, you know, kind of pummeling through. So if someone is an obstacle, okay, and that could be an, an anyone or anything, if anything is an obstacle, it gets in the way of what it is that you um, want, okay? Because this, this is very real. The Ace of Pentacles, like to me, it's either you know there's a new beginning, there's an energy present, okay? Or you look at your masculine as this is your new beginning, okay? Um, on the card, it says the right partner is the one who can match you and then some. It also says, who's going to help you run this town tonight? <laughs> um, if you all know who this masculine is, right? This is someone who you feel 100% matches you or could be a great match for you, Okay. Now, strength, could, you could be done with a Leo, um, Taurus or Libra as well. Strength is your situation. That's why I get a lot of like quiet energy and it may be taking you a lot. What I'm getting uh, for on your end is it's taking a lot of self-restraint. It's taking a lot of strength to not communicate not talk not reveal exactly how it is you feel maybe to this person yeah queen of pentacles five of swords Some of you feel like somebody is avoiding their responsibility, maybe as a parent. That's what else I'm getting. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're masculine. The, the energy that I'm picking up from them is like, they care a lot about you, but they're not gonna be forced into a commitment. Okay, this person doesn't want to be forced and that's why they're kind of taking their time with this four of swords and they're they're being very quiet 
tell me um, about strength being the romantic situation here for Scorpio feminine with their masculine. Can you tell me about more about their romantic situation? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like there's a lot that that wants to be said on both ends. And I feel as though you may be restraining yourself. You are. Because they're, they're, but I feel like you've moved on. I don't know if you've moved on from this person or you've moved on. But see, you and your masculine, I feel, are in two different phases, right? Because they're, you're in the chariot phase where you're um, going with the flow of the universe. You're trusting the universe to guide you, okay? The chariot to me is like you're allowing them to guide you where, you, where, you're, where you're going. Your masculine is very hesitant with the four of swords, okay? So and somebody may too like they feel like things have ended between you two. Like they're still mourning like the loss of you two. So a lot of pride. Um, yeah, see, ten of wands reverse. When I'm looking at your energy, you've let it. You've let something go. You don't. You're not holding on to it. You're freeing yourself. Tell me about. Um, yeah, as I say, you're freeing yourself. Hold on. Um, tell me more about how Scorpio feminine feels about their romantic situation. Can you tell me more about how Scorpio Feminine feels about their romantic situation, please, Universe Horse? Tell me more about how, okay, yeah, Two of Cups Reverse. So you're detaching from a past situation. You're you're letting go. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Gemini. You are detaching from a past situation. And it's interesting because the King of Swords came out. I put it back, but um, that's what I'm saying. You're not in your head. You're not even over-processing, overthinking anything. You're more so just taking action. Like you're just taking action towards what it is that you want. Okay. And I feel like you're coming up with this Ace of Pentacles energy because energetically, whatever Scorpio Feminine I'm tapping into, um, you're, you are who you want to attract or you like, you do embody um, a high value partner. So you're not hung up on, I'm also getting to like, you're not necessarily super hung up on love right now. I'm getting that too. You're more so this Ace of Pentacles. You may, there may be like a new career venture, a new home, something tangible that you're more so focused on. Or there's somebody else here that may have caught your eye. That's what else I'm getting to. Like there's somebody else. And this masculine over here, if they don't say anything to you, I feel like you'll move on. I feel like you've already um, started that process. I feel like you'll move on. Um, Because for you, in your mind, you're just like, well, they weren't really into it anyway, or they weren't really, they weren't the one for me anyway. If they can go, if they don't need to talk to me or they don't need to say anything, okay? Some of you just broke up. You broke up with uh, with someone and like I said, you're moving, uh, a lot of you are moving, you're, you're relocating. That's what else I'm getting. Yeah, the Knight of Wands just came out. Um... Five of Wands, I think, in reverse. So a lot of you may be moving out, maybe leaving the house, okay? Um, tell me about the Four of Swords here for their masculine. The Nine of Wands, that's somebody who... Okay, so you have the Ten of Wands in reverse, so that's good. 
See what I'm saying though? They're like two steps behind you. You, you, hold on. Seven of cups. Your masculine is feeling very challenged, um, very tired, but they're feeling like something is about to happen or they need to do something, but they just don't know what to do. That's what I'm getting here. They know they need to do something. They just don't know what, okay? Tell me about, um, yeah, page of wands. That's sending a message, okay? Yeah, your person has a lot of pride. I feel like they will say something. This person may say something eventually here. Nine of Swords, the Devil. Here's your masculine, the Emperor, and then you have the Six of Swords. So this is your masculine kind of stepping up and deciding to speak. However, um, this process of like silence has been a while, and it may it may go on for a little while longer. Let me get another card for you, Scorpio Feminine, because you're not really. Another card for you is the King of Cups. There you are, Scorpio. <laughs> this is somebody who's happy by themselves. <laughs> You're like, I dropped the dead weight. Hello, I dropped the dead weight. I'm good. I'm good. On to the, on to the next one. In the words of Jay-Z, I got a million ways to get it. Choose one, bring it back. Now double your money. What does he say? And make a stack and I'm on to the next one. I know I'm just doing the whole song, but I'm just saying like, this is somebody who's very happy by themselves. Who's like keeping it pushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You, Scorpio Feminine is, is, is content by themselves. You guys are very focused. What, do you, what is Scorpio Feminine so focused on right now? Mm, honey. Hold on. Ooh, this tea. This tea, though. Ooh, some of y'all got, some of y'all looking at something. Hold on. Scorpio Feminine. So focused on, though. Right here. Scorpio Feminine. A Pisces. Scorpio Feminine, what are they so focused on right here? Ten of Swords reverse, the Moon reverse, what I say? A Pisces? Getting out of a slump. Okay. Um, moving on. Yeah. Moving on. Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords with Death. And possibly talking about what happened, right? Having having clarity. I, I don't feel like you're opposed to talking to who this is. I feel like you're in a very positive space, okay? That's what I'm getting. I feel like things are good. You know, things are moving forward for you. That's why your energy is coming up with the chariot. You know, things are, things are pushing. I feel like there is something that you may want to discuss with a person who you had an ending with, okay? Bring it to light. Moon reverse, ten of swords reverse. Let's talk about it. But do I feel like you're going to go out of your way to say something to who this masculine is? Mm, probably, I don't know. Probably not. Coming in. You're not about um, talking right now. Like you're all about action, Ace of Wands. Like you're all about action and this is all about new, 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 new. I don't wanna focus on the past. I'm done with the past. And you know what? You're manifesting it because you got wands and you have pentacles. That's 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 real. That's in this reality, okay? Um, And like you could be manifesting it with your masculine, but this new moon, this new moon's gonna bring in some um could be someone new for you all. 
like that you like the the prototype you know like the type of person that you've been thinking about this new moon may be bringing that energy to you you're manifesting you're you are manifesting a new beginning then the universe definitely has your back because you had all major arcana so let's see who your masculine is going to be showing up as in this extended who is Scorpio Feminine's masculine? Who is Scorpio Feminine? Who is their masculine? Who are we talking about here in, in the extended? Their masculine counterpart, Scorpio Feminine's masculine counterpart. Jeez, they don't want to show me. Way too many. Who is there? <laughs> As I say, way too many. Scorpio Feminine. What's going on? Do you have way too many masculine? Masculine uh, energies that want you, of course, you're a Scorpio. Scorpio feminine, Scorpio feminine, they're masculine. Show me they're masculine. All right. Okay, this is way too much. Um, who are we gonna take? We've got Lena Dunham, Edward. I'm gonna take Ryan. That's what I'm gonna take. So you got Ryan Gosling is your, I think he's a Scorpio. This is your masculine right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a Scorpio. And he is with a Pisces. And I said I saw Pisces for you all. So it says silence has more meaning than the words you don't say. Damn. <laughs> and that's like where you all are at right now with the silence, right? The hardest role to play is yourself. Don't let someone else write your private life. Damn. Interesting. Don't let someone else write your private life. Mm. All right. So let's see what happens here. Okay, I got the Three of Swords with the Star, and then you have the Tower and the Lovers. So I do feel like something is about to happen here. Hold on. We got some healing going on, I think, in the next several days in your love life. And that's, yeah, I think it's with that new moon energy. All right, I'm going to take it. You got death at the bottom. Death is merely transformation. We got the Knight of Pentacles at the top. So we got the Queen of Swords coming in here. Libra energy for what happens in the next several days. I feel like this may be some type of tough discussion, okay? Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, if you all are going to have a conversation with this person, Scorpio, it, it may it, it may not go as bad as you think. It may not. It's what I'm getting is like, it's not as bad as you think. That's what I'm getting here. But I'm going to continue this on Vimeo. So if you're following me to uh, finish watching your uh, reading, then click the links below for Vimeo. And um, yeah, and then I'll continue the reading there. And um, if this is where we part ways, please like the reading, subscribe to the channel, and Scorpio Masculine, you're up now. Hey, Scorpio Masculine, what's going on? All right, let's hop into your reading. So, you all have um, Sergey Gainsborough, Gainsborg, Gainsborg, Sergey, I know Sergey. <laughs> um, I'm not sure who he is. I'll have to look him up, okay? But you have that paired with the moon for your um, romantic energy. Scorpio, I'll be honest. Scorpio masculine. You're, you're just kind of like, fuck it right now. I feel like you have a feminine who... Um, this could be a Gemini. This could be an Aries. This could be another Scorpio. But someone really does want to either be back with you, like if you all had a breakup, which I do feel like to some degree um, you walked away or this person walked away. Okay. Eight of Cups is the situation. And that's somebody saying, you know what? You can have that. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead. You can go ahead and have that. Um, yeah, that's the attitude. Like, I feel like you're just kind of, um, you're comfortable, like being in, in, um, 
in the unknown. In the space of the unknown, like you're you're fine right now. That's what I'm getting. Okay. It's raining too. It doesn't rain here a lot, so pretty dope. We get the nice background. Um mm. okay, so that looks dope. See how the water's hitting the glass? Okay. You're how do you feel about the situation as the Page of Cups? I'm saying you're kind of like, we'll see what happens. Um, you're also open for, I feel like some of you are having like maybe one night stands. Um, let me read you what, the, what this card says. It says, beauty is the promise of happiness and a guarantee of despair. When I leave, you shall, you shall have no kisses left. And it says, to love, you must ignore the difference between pleasure and pain. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you don't know what's about to happen in your love life with the moon. Could be connecting with the Cancer or a Pisces. Definitely Pisces. Um, I feel like, yeah, you just don't, you don't know what's about to happen. But you know, like whatever just did happen, you don't like it or you don't want it. If this person walked away from you, somebody may have walked away from you and you may just be like, what? <laughs> with the page of cups, like that was a surprise. I didn't see that coming with the moon. Tell me about... Um, yeah, Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. That's somebody just saying, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and date. Um, maybe you're on dating websites, right? You're getting to know people. Could be walking towards a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sag. Talk about the Page of Cups here for hmm. Talk about the Page of Cups here for a Scorpio um, masculine. How they're feeling about the situation? The Chariot Reverse. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see what's going on here. I could be wrong, but yes. I, okay. I could be wrong, but I feel like somebody strongly wants commitment with you, but you don't want commitment or you're not looking at something long term. Yeah, like I'm getting a very detached energy here. Like you have a secret. Six of Swords reverse. Like you know you have a secret. Because your energy is the moon. So it's dark. Okay, don't shoot the messenger, but I feel like you're playing some people. Um, I get that. It could be a water and a fire sign. Yeah, like I'm seeing a, um, I'm seeing you go from your... You have one main person, though, I feel. One main person here. Okay. And like... This main person knows how you are like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. But um, what I'm getting is like newer, newer feminine energy doesn't know how you are. So you're very good um, at disguising your... Mm, 
Okay, Scorpio masculine, whatever. This is what I'm picking up. Don't shoot the messenger. This is just what I'm picking up. If it's not you, then it's not you, okay? You're very good at disguising who you are. <laughs> You're very good at disguising who you are. I have to roll my eyes because we've all met those people. Could be a lot of feminine watching this for the Scorpio masculine, so... I'm probably not even going to offend um, anyone. This is the biggest message I get. Like, you kind of lure, lure, is that the word? Lure people in, okay? Think about the moon. It's like a gravitational pull, right? But it's emotion, okay? You got kind of like that, that like Rico Suave type of thing going on. And you're so cool with it that you're able to kind of get these people in, lure them in, and they're thinking, oh, Scorpio, Scorpio wants a commitment, okay? Scorpio, like, you know, they, they yes, like Scorpio feels so strongly for me. No, you don't. Here we go. No, you don't. You don't, you don't, you don't view this, you don't. <laughs> You don't view anyone as long-term right now. And you're not telling anyone really, no one knows really how you feel. No one knows how you feel because you're the moon. And somebody tries to approach you in a certain way. I feel like almost to you were surprised by someone like, what? Like, it's almost like you... <laughs> you give off this energy where it is commitment. It is commitment vibes, right? And then you almost feel kind of surprised. You're like, oh, you thought I meant that like that? Oh, okay. Oh, you thought because we slept together that, that we were forming a bond or, you know, whatever. And this feminine is saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We talked, we talked about... Like somebody's fucked up over here. Gemini, Aries, or Scorpio, somebody's messed up. Because they're like, hold on. I thought that that's what you wanted. I thought, you know, um, I thought you were serious. And you're over here like, no, nah, I just wanted to um, see, what that, see what that cup was about. I'm not going to say, say what I was about to say. But you see, he's tickling the fish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking to somebody. You know who you are. And I don't feel bad for coming at you like this. But honestly, like, this is the energy of a masculine who has a main person, probably a fire sign, <laughs> probably a Sag. I'm just going to call it how I see it. And every time, like, things go a little left, okay, it could be a, a Aries or a Leo, right? Things go a little left and you go back to this person. This person right here. May, this may be an accurate depiction of who I'm talking about. She may have red hair, something fire, probably a fire sign. Probably a queen of wands, right? You go, you're like, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I, or even like, you may even get the energy like, mm -mm, getting too attached or, you know, this person's getting too attached to me. Let me go run back over here to my page. Okay. Mm -mm. Let me see about your, your feminine over here. You got somebody very serious over here. King of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. That's somebody ready for a serious commitment. Okay. Now, Scorpio Masculine. Some of you could feel like, no, that's not what happened. I found out that this person lied to me. Page of Cups, Six of Swords, Cherry Reverse. I found out this person lied to me. And so I had to leave them alone. I thought that they were, you know, they were coming to me like they were ready for forward movement, but they were not. They are still in love with somebody else. That could be it too. Okay.
or they're still with somebody else, okay? So I'm about the Eight of Cups, Page of Wands for the romantic situation. Then we're gonna get into your extended. Queen of Cups, the Lovers, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles. George, can you please stop? Let me ask one more time. Can you tell me about this for the for the romantic situation? Four of Swords. I feel like for some of what I'm getting is like, and it may just be two people you go back and forth between. Okay. There may be two people, one of you, your feminine or you. Um I just feel like some of you are playing with people. That's what I feel. I feel like some of you are playing with people and um, you go back and forth. It's like when one person gets too serious or, you know, does some fuck shit, you're like, mm -mm, I'm gonna go over here to shorty. You go holler at, at this person, okay? It's like whenever somebody is acting up, one person acts up, I'm gonna go over here. They start acting up, I'm gonna go over here. That's what I'm getting. And you don't know, I mean, at the end of the day, you really don't know who you want to move forward with at this point. You're like, that shit, that, that shit's going to surprise me if I do even move forward with anyone, right? All right. Now, I may foresee that somebody, your feminine, someone is about to contact you or they want to contact you. But again, you're not, you're not doing anything. You're like, mm -mm, I'm moving on. I don't really know what's going on with them, but I'm moving on. I see you moving on. You're dating again. You're doing what you want to do. All right. Hmm. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see who your feminine is, Scorpio. Masculine. Some of y'all are like, dang. She called my ass out. Well, if I see it, I'm, I'm going to say it. See it, say something. See something, say something. There's no what they tell you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. For a terrorist, right? You out here being an emotional terrorist, Scorpio? Masculine. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Okay. Boom. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You're dealing with the first lady, honey. Either this person, like I said, somebody may already be in a commitment because you did have the four of wands. They're in their head. They're like, I want Scorpio, but I can't go to Scorpio. Right? I want a new beginning with Scorpio, okay? But I can't get out of that situation. Or like I said, this person wants commitment with you, period. The king of cups is your energy with the four of wands. Somebody want, or again, too. No, nah. mm-mm. I don't really get that you're married. I just get that. I feel like some of you all do have a main person. Okay, I stand by that. I feel like there is a main one. Okay, but I also and that and this could be your main one, right, Miss ja Jackie Jackie Onassis. Okay, um, that could be your main person. Um, but regardless, your feminine is someone who wants marriage or is definitely marriage material okay um let's see what happens here in your situation in the next several days so shout right out so we've got the nine of cups in reverse and that is your situation right now it's the eight of cups right but then you also have the hangman reverse now This could be somebody being taught Pisces energy. This could be somebody who is tired of waiting. This could be you, Scorpio. Tired of waiting and then it's like they're making a move. They're moving forward. So that could be, you know, with the chariot and the six of swords in reverse, you could just be waiting to have forward movement. You could be waiting for the right moment to say something to this person because there's a lot of quietness between you and whoever this is, okay? Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to continue this on Vimeo. The link is down below or in the description. Any personal reading information, like I said, is in the description. And um, Scorpios, thank you so much for watching your reading. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Sorry, sorry if I ragged on anyone. That's just what I saw, right? But it's all good. It's all love. Um, 
But yeah, that's uh that's what I'm seeing here. All right. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.